here professors, students, fellow researchers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am very grateful to the nominating committee of the Red Bout University for selecting me to receive the honorary doctorate degree. It is a wonderful feeling to be recognized for my work. I am humbled, excited, and have a deep sense of appreciation. I have not been in the spotlight. My life has not been like that. For four decades, I worked quietly in the laboratory, performing the experiments myself, wrote the lab notes, the papers. I knew that what I was doing is important and did not expect anybody to tap my shoulder, praising me for my work. The only award ceremonies I attended when my daughter won gold medal in rowing in the Women 8 and Olympic Games in Beijing and London, where the Dutch women team was also very successful. I grew up in a small Hungarian town with a population of 10,000. My mother was bookkeeper, my father was butcher, and learned from them that hard work is part of life. And of course, I learned how to make sausage. We had a big garden and animals in the yard. As a little girl, I watched the chicken hatching from the eggs, the plants growing out of the small seeds we put into the soil. I was curious. I had great teachers and they encouraged me to keep learning. So that was my humble beginning. And there was a long, long winding road on which I have arrived here. My greatest joy in science have been the small and large victories at the bench in the lab. Many times when I got disappointed that my experiment seemed, didn't work, a quote from Leonardo da Vinci on the wall written there reminded me and cheered me up. It said, experiments never err, only your expectation do. So there is no failure, we just need to think critically. We spent years working on technologies that seemed unconventional and almost science, science fiction to some. But we shared an immense belief that if the result of our work could improve the life, at least one person, then we have succeeded. It is such a relief to know that by now, the mRNA vaccine successfully protected millions of people from the serious effect of COVID-19. I learned so much uh, during those 40 years, so I thought I share some of my experience with you. It is important to love your work. We spend most of our life working, so it is important to enjoy it. And if you like your work, you will be good at, and you will enjoy even more. It is important that you need to learn how to handle stress. Hans Scheyer coined the word stress in the 1930s. He said that the stress can kill you, depending on how you react on it. But without stress, life is boring. You need stress, but learn that by adopting the right attitude, you can convert the negative stress into positive one. You need stress, like expectation, excitement. I wouldn't be here today if I wouldn't have been terminated in my position several times. I couldn't change that decision, but it was up to me what I did next. You can uh, upload a lot of stress if you focus on what you can do or you can change. People get burned out uh, on their work because they compare themselves with others, those who might work less, but achieve more, pay more, promoted. You cannot change that. So do not pay attention. It is destruction. Rather, spend your energy to improve yourself, work harder, be more creative, and perform better. You have to believe in yourself. An environment can be intimidating. As a small town girl coming from Hungary to the American Ivy League school, I was asking myself, could I think something that all those very smart scientists working in that very famous university wouldn't? I had to answer, yes, why not? Because believing in yourself is an endless destination. Believing that you will fail, it is end of your journey. 
Please be nice to your fellow student. Follow their professional work. When I needed advice to perform my experiments, I called upon my former classmates, who at the time worked at the University of Toulouse or another one in Germany, so that I could make the best mRNA. Your classmates will be experts one day, and you may need their help. So be nice to them. Find the right partner for life. I met my husband while we were student. He has supported my decision every step on the way. Moved to a foreign country with me when we had hardly had any money in our pocket. And our two years old child by our side. All of this so that I could continue my research. He knew how important science was for me. My daughter grew up to appreciate my lifelong commitment to science. And she also always encouraged me. So girls, my advice to you, you do not need to make a decision and choose between your career and having a child. Find the right partner who cares about your dreams and supports your decision. And finally, let me tell you another story about my daughter. She was seven years old, just finished second grade, and when she got home, started writing a letter right away. I asked her, Where, why are you are you writing this letter? Who you are writing to? And she said, oh, to my teacher, Mrs. Wilson. I am thanking her the wonderful year. We learned so much. I was 35 years old and realized I have not sent letter to my teachers, but then all changed. Now I visit them, call them, send them letter and express my appreciation. So my final conclusion is do not hesitate to learn from anybody. Even a seven year old can teach you something. And from time to time, tell those people who help you on your journey how much you value what they have done for you. Thank you for your attention.